All right. Well, um, welcome everyone to the virtual college exploration for all Illinois students sponsored by the Illinois Association for College Admission Counseling and StriveScan. Thank you for joining us. A few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenter at any time. Your camera and microphone are off so the panelists cannot see or hear you. This is just one of many different sessions happening, so be sure to check out the full schedule at IACAC.org. This presentation is also being recorded and will be available in about a week at that same website, IACAC.org. Now I'd like to turn it over to our presenter. Oh, hi. Hi, everyone, and yeah, thank you and good evening. Thank you, Betsy, and all right, good evening, everyone, and I hope everyone is well this evening. Happy Thursday. Welcome, and I just want to say thank you to Betsy for moderating this evening, and thank you to IACAC and StriveScan for putting on a great college fair as far as exploration here. I know these are difficult times, so it's a pleasure being here this evening. I'm going to share my screen and we will get started. All right. So again, all right. Good evening, everyone. And again, I am Mike Renza and I'm with the University of South Alabama. I serve as our assistant director here in Chicago for new student recruitment here at South Alabama. I've been with University of South Alabama for eight years, and I am actually from here in the suburbs of Chicago. I'm from LaGrange, Illinois. So that's the Western suburbs of Chicago, about 20 minutes west of downtown. And I am based here in Chicago. So I've been with University of South Alabama my eighth year. On the screen, you have my email, you have my phone, and we do texting as well. So I will share this at the end of the presentation as well. But thank you for joining tonight and good evening and let's get started right now. All right, so welcome to South Alabama, everyone. Um, again, as you look to the top right hand picture, that is Southpaw. He is our mascot. He is wearing a face covering these days. So, you know, times are different now. So we are thinking about you. Welcome to South Alabama. So this is our main like entrance portal or, you know, as far as entrance as you come into our campus. It is very colorful campus. We are located in Mobile, Alabama, which is on the Gulf of Mexico. It's right by the Florida Panhandle, which I'll go over in a second. So if you come down and visit us, this is one of the portals you'll see coming into our campus here in Mobile, Alabama. So on behalf of University of South Alabama, we are proud of you guys, my seniors, my juniors, my sophomores, parents and counselors. Obviously this is a different time, you know, so always keep well, be safe and healthy and let's always be positive and hopefully we all can get through this together. So on behalf of South, we are thinking about you. Um, all of you guys and make sure to stay strong. So here's our campus. So our campus, as I mentioned, is in Mobile, Alabama. We are about 1200 like acre campus. So it's, it's kind of a larger feel, but it's not overwhelmingly too big. There is tons of green space on our campus. So our campus is divided with two parts. You have the academic side, and then you have as far as the residential side. We have invested over $400 million in our campus since 2006. So the campus has like grown tremendously. We are a four year public. It's a doctoral university, about 15,000 students. Okay, so again, it's one part of the campus. I will show you more pictures in a second, but this is more of an aerial view. I hope you guys can come down and visit us here in Mobile. All right, so my seniors and juniors, sophomores, freshmen, perhaps. Um, all right, so I hope you're excited about the college application process. All right, so this should be in a time that's very enjoyable for you guys. The one thing I tell all students and parents, okay, so yeah, so we are here for you, okay? So always ask your college representative, you know, as far as questions, make sure to visit college campuses, and I hope you're excited. So there's five things that you all should do 
as far as the college application process. So number one, always take ownership in your application. All right. Number two, always be accountable. All right. Check your email, ask questions. All right. So we, you know, we as college admissions representatives are here to help you. Always communicate with us. There is never a bad question ever. So whether it's texting, email, you know, as far as virtual meetings, again, I'm very willing to do that again with you and your families. So again, how can we help you be, um, how can we help you be like competent and comfortable in the process? Have fun during this process. Again, be excited and also visit college campuses. So again, so whether it's a local school here in Illinois or whether it's University of South Alabama down on the Gulf Coast, make sure to visit. That's a very, very, um, as far as important part of the application process because you wanna see if it's for you or not. So I hope you're excited. All right, we have done very well in Illinois. We have increased our Illinois enrollment about 600% over seven years. So we're very, very proud of that. Um, so these are some of our Jaguars from Chicago and as far as Illinois. Um, so they, they have their like yard signs and all that fun stuff. So they were excited to attend. Um, also, our student body president is from Illinois this year. She is from Champaign-Urbana. So, you know, we definitely have a lot of Illinois down representing here at the University of South Alabama. So here's a fun picture I threw in there for you guys to get excited. All right, here are some fun facts on Mobile. So it's the fourth largest city and is the oldest city in Alabama. It's about 950 miles from Chicago. It's a two hour flight from O'Hare and Midway Airport. If you're on the like central part of the state or near St. Louis, it's about, yeah, about 620 miles from the St. Louis Metro East area. So as far as the city of Mobile, it's got about 250,000 people. So it has a lot of history, prime location. Mobile is the birthplace of Mardi Gras. It's not New Orleans actually, you know, back in 1704 and it's a holiday at South Alabama. It's right by the Gulf of Mexico. It's right by the Florida Panhandle. So it's by Destin and Pensacola. Other airports, I will um, say from Chicagoland, is what um, always flying to Pensacola as well. That's a good airport. Even New Orleans has a lot of flights from Chicago and Midway that are very affordable. Tons of music festivals and farmers markets, has some great seafood, some Southern cooking down here in the Gulf Coast, over 50 restaurants downtown. Our campus is not downtown Mobile, so it's a true campus feel. So it's not like, you know, as far as like part of the downtown. So it's its own entity, if you will. Mobile is an economic hub for the Gulf Coast. So it's an economic drive for the Gulf of Mexico. It's home of the, um, as far as the Senior Bowl as well. And that is an annual tradition that was held in Mobile for 70 years. And that game is gonna be held on our campus coming up actually, because we just opened a $78 million football stadium. Some people that are from Mobile is like Jimmy Buffett. Uh, number two is Tim Cook, who's the Apple CEO. Hank Aaron, and then there's Winston Groom. All of you, I'm sure, have seen Forrest Gump the movie. Winston Groom is the author of the book, and part of Forrest Gump was filmed in Mobile. As you look at some of the pictures here, so here's Gulf Shores, Alabama. So it's all like white sand beaches down there, about 45 minutes from campus. Right here is downtown Mobile. So it's very similar, like as far as like New Orleans. So it's got it's got a, like a cross pollination of a Savannah, Georgia, Charleston, South Carolina. So Mobile has a lot of rich history and culture, as you can see. Um, yep. And then right here on the bottom is like Pensacola Beach. So that's a popular place for students, you know, but always get your studies done first. That's important. College is all about time management. So that's something that you guys probably have already. But this is definitely attractive for students who want to enjoy some of the outdoors. Here is a, yeah, so here is a cruise terminal. So we have Carnival Cruise Lines downtown Mobile. So that's a huge, as far as, you know, as far as tourism, this is right downtown on the bay. Um, and then on the bottom is a skyline of the city Mobile. So it's obviously not the size of Chicago, 
but it's got a lot of history, about 250,000 people, a lot of tourism, great restaurants, as I mentioned. So as you come down and visit us, part of your campus tour, you know, is to see the city of Mobile and I will coordinate or I will coordinate that for you and your parents. So where is, where is University of South Alabama again? If you look at my cursor here this evening, all right, here are all of you today. So maybe Chicago or central Illinois or Southern Illinois down by the Carbondale area. We're all, all right, so we're down here on the Gulf Coast. So here's our Jaguar head. That's our logo, home of the South Alabama Jaguars. So again, so make sure you visit college campuses wherever it is on this map, but we definitely are holding tours now and we would be more than happy to have you. Here are some fun facts on, on, on South Alabama. So we are a four year public, all right? So it's a doctoral university over a hundred majors, nine colleges. So we have the bachelor, master and doctoral program. It's one of the fastest growing schools in Alabama as well as the Southeast. So we are about 15,000 students. So again, not too big, not too small. As I mentioned, we have grown our campus over, yeah, so as far as like $400 million since 2006. Average class size 25 and the ratio is 18 to one. 80% of your teachers have a doctorate degree. So you're right. So there's less teaching assistance. There's less graduate assistance over as far as like 80 countries represented. We have every state, as I mentioned, we've done very well in Illinois. We are very big in medical pre-med allied health. We, we own and operate two hospitals and two cancer centers. Both are teaching hospitals. We treat over 250,000 patients a year in our hospital system. We do have a medical school on our campus. We have a level one trauma center. So if you're looking for medical, pre-med, nursing, as far as radiology, um, that's definitely what South Alabama has been known for, but we're also very big in STEM business, which I'll touch upon in a second. We are big in scholarship programs. We do offer as far as the in-state tuition for the Illinois students. That's gonna make you and your family very, very happy. And I will tell you how to get that in a second. Over $17 million a year in scholarships. And then as far as Carnegie Research, they, they, are, they like classify us as R2 high volume research institution. So as far as, yeah, so as far as the undergrad, you'll have ample opportunity all right, to do some research. Um, here are some pictures on the top left. Here's the Mitchell College of Business, AACSB accredited as well, and that's the highest in the world for any business school. Here's Hancock Whitney Stadium. It's very exciting. This was a $78 million building that just opened about six weeks ago. So this is brand new. We also are Division I Athletics and all the games are free to attend for South Alabama students. And on the bottom left is Shelby Hall. Here's our College of Engineering and our School of Computing. So as you come down and visit us, I'm sure you'll see these great facilities on our campus. Here's a picture of the class of 2023. Unfortunately, there was no picture for this past fall because we are in a pandemic, but hopefully my seniors today, if you ever now enroll at South Alabama for fall of 2021, you all would be class of 2025. So we hope to see you down here. And again, this is a class picture that was taken. And as you can tell, they were very excited to be there. So here are the academic colleges here at South Alabama. All right, so we have the PAC Caps Covey of Allied Health Professions. We have the College of Arts and Sciences. We have the College of Education and Professional Studies. We have College of Engineering. We have the College of Medicine, College of Nursing. As far as nursing, it is a big program here at South. It's offered at the Bachelor, Master, and Nurse Practitioner. And then there's the Mitchell College of Business, AACSB accredited. Then, then there's school computing, very big in cybersecurity, FYI. We do have an honors college. Our, so our honors director actually got her master's at the University of Chicago. So she's very familiar as far as the Midwest. And then we have a college of pharmacy. We, we partner too with Auburn University. So it's Auburn's program on the South Alabama campus. So that's always nice to partner with our peer institutions here in Alabama. As you look on the top right, more pictures for you all this evening. You have the Health Sciences Building. You have Shelby Hall again. And then on the bottom right is the Mitchell College of Business as well. 
Here are some programs that are niche here because we are on the Gulf of Mexico, right by the Florida Panhandle. So number one is hospitality and tourism management. So that's a big, you know, as far as like job market out there. So hotels and all that. So we are on the white sand down here. So we do a lot of co-ops and internships. If you like to be in hospitality and tourism management, we are big in weather. All right, so we're big in meteorology. Um, we have our own coastal weather research center on campus. So it's really like all about the research and the weather. Uh, we, we own and operate 25 like weather stations as well. That's, that's along the Gulf Coast. So by the Florida Panhandle, the Alabama Gulf Coast, as well as the Mississippi Gulf Coast. So that's where you're in there doing all the research and data collection. And we are big in marine sciences. That's offered at the bachelor and master as well as the PhD level. We partner too with Dolphin Island Sea Lab as well. So that's a barrier, that's a barrier reef island in the in the Bay of Mobile. So we partner with them. So that's where you do your research. We also have a shark research program. So again, these are programs that are more like niche for us here in Mobile based on location alone. So if you have an interest in these, always let us know and we would be more than willing to help you with these. All right, here's our campus. As I mentioned, we have invested over $400 million in the campus since like 2006 with renovations and like research and facilities. Here's our quad area. All right, so there is a lot of green space on our campus. So again, our campus is about 1200 acres. So here's a pictorial tour. Uh, here is Molten Tower and Alumni Plaza. It's the largest academic tower in the state of Alabama. It's 142 feet, so it's a good place to take selfies. Many students do that on campus here. Here is inside the tower at night. Um, that's a mural done by a South Alabama alumni. So that, that basically is a mural um, that tells South Alabama as far as the history through the years at the university. Uh, here's the rec center. So it's 115,000 square feet. It's got two pools, saltwater pools, and they're heated. We have everything from your cardio, the strength, the free weights, the racquetball, soccer, basketball, table tennis. There's a rock climbing wall. So of course we want you to be healthy, you know, and fit. So um, again, this is all like complimentary as well. So there's no cost to attend this facility at the University of South Alabama. This is our pool deck. This is all complimentary too. So it kind of looks like you're on vacation a little bit, but again, always wear your sunblock here in Mobile. The sun is very strong, but again, this is all complimentary and also part of your campus tour as you come down and visit us hopefully soon. Here's Shelby Hall again, College of Engineering School of Computing. It is one of our like newer buildings on campus. As you come in that, or as you come into the front door here, Here's what you see as you look up, it's a crystal ball. So yeah, so we're very big in STEM careers. There's a lot of, as far as like firms of engineering down in Mobile, there's co-ops. So there's a lot of research opportunities, especially engineering here. So if you have any questions on engineering here, please let us know, more than willing to connect you with, with some, or some, some staff and faculty and deans. Here is Mark's library. Um, yep, so obviously there's tons of research opportunities here, quiet areas, and I'm sure you'll be here during the final exams and all the time, we hope, right? So time management, your time and everything. So this is Mark's library on our campus. Here's Health Sciences building right here. This is actually, if, so if you're gonna be in nursing, pre-med, cardiorespiratory care, radiology, speech and hearing sciences, PA studies, this is your building right here. Health Science, so again, and we are able to have you like coming here for the campus tour. So again, whatever you need from us as a university as you visit, again, always let us know and we will do the best to accommodate, here is Meiser Hall, right to the left of that statue. That's where I go. I'm on campus twice a year. Um, that has admissions, recruitment, it has financial aid, it has career development, it has the registrar. So that's a building that's very popular for student services. As you look to the right of the statue, that's our student center amphitheater, a lot of green space there. So there's a place to get some coffee, socialize, get some sun, um, et cetera. So again, our campus has lots of green space, 1200 acres. 
Here is our Laid Law Performing Arts Center. So we are very big in theater. It's very big in opera, dance, and like musicals. So if this is your thing, and you don't always have to be a theater major to be part of the theater production. So again, we, we yeah, so we definitely now pride ourselves on these types too. And this is College of Arts and Sciences, but this is the Laid Law Performing Arts Center. Here are some, as far as the most like recent, as far as developments on campus, as you look on the on the top left, here is our new alumni center. That's a $7 million building that just opened in January of 2020. Patient simulation on the right, that's a $13 million building. That's all like human simulation for health sciences. So that also opened in January. As you look on the bottom, again, that's Hancock Whitney Stadium, 25,000 seats, up to 35,000 for concerts as well. As you look to the right, that is our Jaguar Training Center. So that's where all 17 men's and women's sports can practice. If we have you know, some weather, there's some physical education courses there as well. So here are some of the most like recent developments on campus. Application process. So my seniors this year will start with you. We are on the common application. So I'm sure all of you guys right know what that is. We also have our own application online. So we are going to accept applications all the way until mid July of 2021. Update for this year, hopefully this is going to extend for fall of 2022 and beyond, but for fall of 2021, South Alabama is test optional. All right, so that's great news for everyone. We, we yes, yeah, so we do allow as far as a self reporting, if you do test optional, all we need for admittance to South Alabama is a GPA of a 3.0. So that's all we need, you know, as far as being admitted to South for the undergraduate studies. Now, if you have a test, we definitely encourage you to send those scores because we do offer as far as the in state tuition guaranteed if you have a score. If you don't have a score and are test optional, we are going to review you for a scholarship and the in-state tuition. So there is no essay needed for the initial application. There is no as far as like letter recommendation either. So we are going to accept your highest test score and GPA all the way until July prior of the August semester. So that's exciting news to tell you. We do accept the weighted GPA as well from your high school. We do accept the dual enrollment courses, IB credit, as well as AP. So make sure you send all this official documentation from that receiving institution down to the USA of admissions. Average ACT is a 24 from this past year. All right, so just under 24. Average as far as GPA is a 3.7. So we are rolling admissions. So we essentially accept applications all the way until July 15th of 2021 of this coming or as far as next year. So here is like the general overview as far as the application process. If you have any questions this year, always let us know. We have early acceptance programs. So these are programs that you apply to when you are admitted to South Alabama as far as an undergrad. So College of Medicine here, if you have a 30 on the ACT, 13, 16, 3, 5, that is consideration for the College of Medicine. Physical Therapy, that's a doctorate program here. So that's a 28 or 1,300, 3.5. College of Nursing, no test needed for direct entry. Uh, so as long as you have a 3.5, you are admitted to our professional component as a senior in high school, okay? So there's no application that's needed for this. That's something to always remember. College of Pharmacy, we have an early acceptance program as well. Um, that is in collaboration with Auburn University. Um, what we need is a 26 or a 1260 and a 3.5. And the deadlines are there as well. And this is also on our website. We have the Mitchell Scholars Program. That is uh, that's the most like generous like scholarship program in the state of Alabama. It is endowed. Um, so as far as being like eligible for this, there is no application needed. If you have a 29 on the ACT or an SAT equivalent of a 1350 and 35, you are into, you know, as far as consideration for this program. Average scholarship for the Mitchell Scholars is $12,500 per year. And that is renewable every year at University of South Alabama. 
Here's the Honors College. Um, again, there's no, um, there's no test score that's needed to be considered for the Honors College this year. All we need is a GPA of a 3.5. So, right, so these are termed the early acceptance programs at University of South Alabama and, you know, as far as special programs. So um, there you go. Um, this is a great takeaway for parents and families tonight. Um, and also students, obviously, if you have a test score, if you're able to submit a test score, please send down your test scores and here's why. This is automatic as far as the scholarship and the in-state tuition rate. If you have a 21 on the ACT or a 1060 and a 3.0, that is guaranteed a scholarship. Every student that has a scholarship merit base is guaranteed the in-state tuition rate. So you're saving about, about 10 to $12,000 per year. And that's effective all four years. So we definitely have some value there for you. So that's, um, so again, if you have a score and you don't do test optional, please send down your scores because there's not going to be a review process for scholarships, it's gonna be guaranteed. So yeah, so we definitely want you to get the in-state tuition opportunity here. Um, so if you are test optional and you have a minimum GPA of a 3.0, we are going to consider you for a scholarship and the in-state tuition, okay? I will always be an advocate for you. That's something I enjoy doing. So, you know, always, yes, always talk to me. I will take that down to campus and be, you know, as far as a great, as far as advocate for you. So, um, so how... We do this review, it's your courses in high school, we have your class rank, AP, other items, and you may have to submit as far as additional documentation. But again, if you are test optional and you have a 3.0, we are going to consider you and review you for a scholarship as well as the in-state tuition. But again, guys, I will be your biggest advocate here at South Alabama, that's a guarantee. Um, and then here's the cost of attendance, which all of you guys, right, so know what that means. Always look at the cost as more of an investment, all right? So college is an investment here. So we know that already. So if you get the in-state tuition rate, here is what we're looking at right now. So if you meet that the 21 10 that is guaranteed now the in-state tuition. So here is the range, and this is going to vary on the college that you're in. So about 98.70 to 11.340. If you factor in fees and the room and board and some books and supplies, it's about 19 to 21.22. That is an estimated cost of attendance for you at University of South Alabama. If you have the in-state tuition rate, even if you're coming from Illinois, you would have the in-state tuition if you meet that criteria. If you don't have the in-state tuition rate, our cost is still pretty similar to most state schools here in Illinois. So if you look on the bottom right, the total cost of attendance, as far as the out-of-state tuition, fees, the room rent, the meal plan, books and supplies, all right, so it's about 28 to 31,000. And I will say, this is all before FAFSA and scholarships kick in. So again, this is an estimated cost. If you need help with the FAFSA or anything as far as financial, we have like workshops this year, we have Zoom rooms, we have some folks here to help you. So again, that goes back to communication with us. Always let us know how, yeah, yeah so we can help you and your families. Here is an example of the merit-based scholarship at South Alabama. Um, there is no application needed for this. So as long as you send down your transcripts and test scores, if you're not test optional. So here's an example, say that you attend my, my um, alma mater and that's Lyons Township High School in LaGrange, Illinois. Say that you have a 3.5 GPA. So that would be we do accept the weighted GPA and say that you have a 29 ACT, which is a 1330 SAT equivalent, that would be about $6,000 as far as tuition. That is renewable all four years. But as a reminder, 
that would be $6,000 off the in-state tuition rate. So not only are you saving as far as tuition about ten dollars to $12,000 per year, you would have a scholarship. So again, that would be, yeah, so again, that would be coming off. So that would be $6,000 as an example off the in-state rate here. So that's simple as far as subtraction there. So we definitely have some good value there. Um, so this chart is also on our website. And again, if you ever wanted to talk more about this, always let us know as a university. Of course, we're here to help you. Um, as you are admitted to South Alabama, all right, so we have stackable scholarships as well. So what does stackable mean? On top of your merit scholarships, um, there's stackable scholarships. So we want you to get as much scholarship money as possible. So yeah, so it's called JackSpot. It stands for Scholarship Program Opportunity Tracker. So when once you are admitted to South Alabama, I will get you set up in your JackSpot account. That's where you also apply for the early acceptance programs too. So we have hundreds that are stackable on top of your merit-based. So, and then I have a senior challenge to all my seniors, all right? So always apply to two scholarships of, right per day, which I know is probably hard to do, but again, always take ownership in your application and always apply to as many scholarships as possible. So we have a portal here that's gonna make that easy. All you do is fill out one application and the system is gonna send you scholarships. So it's very easy to do. And then there's some great external scholarships here. Um, one is FastWeb, that's a great website. Um, then there's School Soup, there's scholarships.com, and then there's CapEx. FAFSA, um, all of you guys probably know what the FAFSA is. That opened the 1st of October, and I know this can be confusing sometimes, but if you have any questions on the FAFSA, if you ever want to do webinars with us as a university, let us know. Again, we are here to help you with the FAFSA application. As far as student services here, so yeah, so every student has a first year advisor here at South Alabama, so they are going to meet you during orientation and kind of like walk you through a four year plan. We have the Center for the Academic Excellence, we have a math lab, a writing lab, tutoring, test preparation. We have a mentorship program where you are, you know, as a freshman are teamed up with upperclassmen here at South, we have something called the first year experience course. That's how you learn how how to become a Jaguar. We also have counseling services. So if something is ever bothering you on campus, always talk to these folks. It's all complimentary. So again, these are clinical doctors and psychologists who are here to help you. It's all complimentary. We also have career services here as well. Job fairs on campus, how to do a resume, some mock interviews. So, and that's something that we all learn over time. But again, but we want you to be prepared for the position. Health center on campus on the top right hand picture. That's our student health center. We accept most, most health insurance packages. And then as far as campus police, um, all of our police officers are sworn in by the state of Alabama. We have over for 700 cameras on campus as well. We have something called the Live Safe app. All right, so this goes on your Android or iPhone. All you do is push the button if something seems out of the ordinary on campus and the campus police is there within seconds. So we want you to be healthy and safe. So that's important because if you can't be healthy and safe on any college campus, how are you gonna be successful? So we want you to feel comfortable here at South Alabama. Um, yeah, housing, very, very fun. All the residence halls have their own private bath and shower. So there's no communal showers or bathrooms. So you have your private shower and bathroom. So we have apartment style private suites. We have a Greek system. We have like traditional housing. It's first come first serve. So once you are, once you are admitted to University of South Alabama, that's when you do your housing contract. Um, it has Wi-Fi, cable, and laundry, no coins for laundry. All you do is go in there and bring your soap and you push the button and you start your wash. Um, yeah, so if you live on campus, um, you are required to do a meal plan. Here is, um, here's our dining hall. Most students do something called the All Access Jaguar Pass. That is unlimited meals per day and swipes. And then there's something called bonus bucks. So if you're not like in the dining hall, there's Starbucks, there's Pizza Hut, there's Chick-fil-A. 
There's Panda Express, there's Mo Southwest Grill, Einstein's Bagels, and here's our food court that's in our student center. So again, you are enrolled in a campus meal plan because you wanna eat well when you're studying hard, right? And as far as residence halls, here's some pictures. Again, all these pictures are on, um, are on our website, but there's actually two that are only freshmen. That would be Camellia Hall and two is, is Azalea Hall. But, um, but so we definitely encourage you guys to be with all the freshmen because it's proven that, you know, right, right. So of course you're all new and you wanna always meet people. So um, here's a picture of Camellia Hall. Um, so this was built in 2018. Here's how it looks inside. So very new, very modern, very updated. And we actually don't call them dorms. So we call them residence halls. So we want you to feel like you're part of a university community and it's home to you. So college is a second you know, home away from home. So we want you to feel confident and comfortable here while you're studying and active in campus life, of course. Here's how they look inside. So you have your sink, you have your private bath and shower, very spacious. Um, of course, you can decorate you know, as far as your room, how you want to do it. But yep, and this is all part of the campus tour. Um, also, we have over 250 clubs, organizations, a lot of campus life here. It's proven if you're involved on a college campus, you tend to be happier and you tend to step outside of your comfort zone. And it's a great way to meet people. And that's all part of your experience at University of South Alabama. So we definitely promote and we love campus life. So um, always get involved. And we have 800 study abroad programs in 60 countries. So that is one of our president's initiatives here is global enhancement. So there also is a scholarship here for study abroad students, we hope that we can study abroad soon. You know, obviously things are uneasy now in the world, but we hopefully, if you attend, that you can do this. So always let us know. Uh, also, we are Division One, the Sun Belt Conference. It's the founding member of the Sun Belt Conference. It's a group of five conference. All the games are free to attend for South Alabama students. A lot of school spirit here. We are a big baseball school, FYI. We had six drafted in the 2018 draft. Um, we have made the NCAA tournament uh, for men's basketball eight times in school history. But and also from Illinois, they have recruited 11 athletes from Illinois as far as as far as South Alabama, as far as athletics. So we definitely have a large number of student athletes from as far as Illinois. And here is a Jaguar marching band. Um, we, uh, yeah, so it's a 250 person band. Um, also, we have a pep band. You don't have to be a music major to be part of the band or the pep band. Every student has a scholarship. And this is one example of like stackable scholarships as well. You have to audition. So when you visit us, always coordinate with me if you want to you know, be in the band and I can, coordinate that with our director of bands here on campus. Um, here is our baseball stadium. Um, so it's the second largest as far as seating capacity in the Sun Belt Conference. If you look there, we are number 16th all time as far as NCAA, as far as Division I, as far as baseball percentages. So we are a big baseball institution. Here is our Mitchell Center for basketball games, concerts, special events. This was actually a sold out game last November. Um, it was versus Auburn University. We actually lost at the buzzer, but it was a lot of fun. So yeah, this is a Mitchell Center where we have um, larger events for students here. Here is Hancock Whitney Stadium as well. It's brand new. It's only six weeks old. So right now we are 25% as far as capacity in the stadium. So we hope for fall of 2021, we can celebrate you know, with good tailgating and our first sellout on the new stadium, 25,000 Jaguar fans. Uh, here is a course, yep, here's Hancock Whitney Stadium as well. That's another angle. Um, you are able to have a car on campus for $5 a year. That's all we charge you is $5 a year for your parking permit. It's very much of a walking friendly campus. It's a bike friendly campus. If you live in the residence halls, probably most of your buildings are probably no more than 15, 20 minutes at the very most. So again, it's a spacious campus, but not overwhelmingly too big. And then we have the Jaguar tram that runs every five to seven minutes. It's a campus-wide type of transportation system here if you're running late to class. 
Um, yep, here is where you check in for the campus tours. Uh, so we have campus tours every day now. So that is Monday through Friday. So um, we they they will vary between like two and three times a day. So Monday through Friday. We have some Saturday options available for students rotating every month. We have virtual sessions by major, by college that are going on right now. We, we have the virtual sessions with staff, with me. So again, if you and your parents wanna talk again with me personally, I will always make time for you and your families. College preview days are on campus. They're held every Monday through mid-November coming up. That is held by the deans and the staff and that does include a campus tour. And then as far as personalized agendas, if there's anything that you guys want to do when you're on campus, whether sit in a class, whatever you want to do, let me know and I will set that up for you. Here's the bookstore. So when you come down to campus, make sure to stop in there and buy some JAG swag as we call it. So uh, very, very cool. And then here is a picture of graduation. So this is what it's about, guys. Wherever you attend, make sure to graduate and always love what you do. There's a great quote, where you go is not who you'll be. It's a great quote by someone that works for the New York Times. College is all about fit. And again, we want you to find what's best for you. There's a lot of schools in the country. There's over 5,000 of them. So make sure you do your research, do, you know, and always reach out to your college representatives here in Illinois. Uh, yep, so always follow us on social media as well, um, which you know about Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram. And in closing, I, I have a couple more minutes. I, I don't see any of the Q&A and that's okay. But in closing, right, so college is what you make of it. All right, seniors, juniors, freshmen, sophomore, and parents know that already and counselors know that already. Always find your fit. Make sure you visit the college campus of your choice. Make sure to enjoy your experience, get involved, and meet as many people as you can. Make sure to graduate and love what you do for your career. As a reminder, I am from LaGrange, Illinois, and I live here in Chicago, so I'm as local as you as far as Illinois. Always communicate with me. There is never a bad question. If you ask me 100 questions a day, I will love that, so maintain your communication. Questions for me, again, call, email, text, more questions, the better. If things ever get better, I am very willing to meet with you in person, with you and your parents at a Panera Bread or a Starbucks, and just have a, you know, a nice conversation and a coffee. Okay, so thank you all for coming this evening. I know I am the last one of this session here of the whole season for the virtual college exploration, so I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to turn it over back to Betsy, um, who is our moderator this evening. I will unshare my screen and thank you for attending this evening. All right, well, thank you, Mike. Um, thank you to everyone who joined us tonight. When you close this window, there will be a link to a very quick four question survey. We'd appreciate any feedback that you could provide. Also, again, this is just one of many sessions offered this fall, so be sure to check out the other sessions that were recorded at the website iacac.org. Thank you so much.